Hey, once again, YouTube, how y'all doing? Y'all know who this is. This your boy, Rod Thomas Jr. From the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, today is uh, October 30th, 2019. And I will say this. I'm going to say this before I go off into this brief video. This video ain't going to be but a few minutes long. But here at the real news behind the news, we don't too much do tabloid type entertainment. You know what I'm saying? We don't too much talk about entertainment or stars because we believe stars up in the sky but we do i do personally want to send a special shout out to the family of one of the greatest comedians of our time john witherspoon man anybody that knows me will tell you my favorite show in television history is the boondocks and just watching and, you know, just listening to John Witherspoon on the boondocks. Not to mention his great work on Fridays. Every movie he was in, he was funny as heck. Um, every, uh, even on the Wayne's brother, this dude was brilliant. And, you know, again, we don't do entertainment type stuff, but we got to send a shout out to John Witherspoon, man, because he was the last of a dying breed. He was the last of... One of our real black icons in comedy. You know, um, I posted on my Facebook page some, um, some things he did on the Joe Rogan show where he talked about Richard Pryor and Red Fox. I also posted some of his greatest moments from the Boondocks. I don't know if y'all watch the Boondocks, but my son will tell you my favorite two shows in television history are the Boondocks and Family Guy, two cartoons. And a lot of people don't know, but the Boondocks is one of the most socially conscious shows that you could ever watch, man. They was telling us back in, in 2007, a lot of stuff that was going on, was, that was taking place. And we're seeing it now here in 2019, how, how Aaron McGruder was so far ahead of his time with that show. But he, uh, he, he had John Witherspoon playing the character of Granddad. Man, granddad, me and my son love watching the boondocks, man. And it kind of, you know, trips me out. You know, death is, 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 is you know, it, it affects everybody on this planet. Like Richard Pryor say, the ultimate test is see if you can beat death. And so far, ain't nobody ever passed that test. You know, and again, like I say, we don't. We don't do a lot of entertainment type stuff here at Real New Behind New, but in this case here, man, I'm going to be real. Uh, John Witherspoon was kind of like an icon to me, man. You know, granddad from the Boondocks, uh, Mr. Jones or Pops from um, from uh, the movie Fridays. And, you know, I was just sitting back listening to a couple of his things. So if I can find a way to uh, uh, upload some of the videos from some of his greatest moments, uh, you know, in television, I'll do it on YouTube, but I do got it, uh, a lot of his greatest moments on my Facebook page that I shared to my Facebook page from YouTube. Y'all go over there and check it out. But you, again, we just, you know, it's too late to tell a dead person rest in peace because they can't hear you. So it really is, is, is kind of uh, senseless to say rest in peace, but to the family uh, of John Witherspoon, to all the other fans that like him just as much as I did, man. We just lost a legend, dog, for real. And the crazy part about it is like even in music, when we lost Michael Jackson, when we lost Prince, and then we lost Maurice White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Do y'all realize that was all that losing those people in the music in, uh, industry was the end of an era, an uh, end of a generation where we actually had real musicians and entertainers. Now we look at people like Richard Pryor, who was the greatest comedian of all time, Red Fox. And now John Witherspoon, as well as others, uh, comedians, black comedians, but those three in particular, you're losing a lot of legacy, man. A lot of um, comedic history, a lot of, um, lot of social history, because the old boys was back there, man, they were doing the civil rights uh, struggle, doing a uh, struggle for civil rights for our people. So I, I had to give a shout out to John Witherspoon. And again, you probably will never see me do that too many for too many other comedians, stuff, somebody like or maybe a Dave Chappelle or Eddie Murphy, because those are two of my, those are two, my two, they in my top five, but yeah. That, that kind of threw me for a loop when I seen that he passed away yesterday. 
So y'all, um, go back and check out some old episodes of the Boondocks, man. <laughs> check out all the episodes of the Boondocks, man, and watch how brilliant this dude was in his delivery, his timing. This dude was a comedic genius, genius man. And then, um, I, um, again, I posted some stuff on my Facebook page, uh, The Real News Behind the News Facebook, where um, he was on the Joe Rogan show, and he talked uh, about a lot of his uh, encounters with Richard Pryor and Red Fox. The dude had a lot of knowledge. You know, we lost him, Dick Gregory, who was another great one that I really loved. But in particular, this dude, uh, John Witherspoon, I mean, it, it, it made me feel some type of way, y'all, because, like I say, um, my son, I'm believe it or not, my son grew up watching the do Boondock. Everybody used to tell me, why you let him watch that? Because I'm like, it's socially conscious. Yeah, it's funny, and they talk about some serious subjects, but it's a cartoon, and it's socially conscious. And John Witherspoon was a, a part of that. He was on the forefront of what the Boondocks did as far as educating our people. So y'all go and check us out. I got a link to our YouTube page. I mean, our Facebook page, Real News Behind the News. I'll put it in the description section. Y'all go check it out, man. Y'all be blessed.